This case here, FIPS versus prior education is a perfect example of why it's really important to research and understand the qualifications and insurances of the advisor that you appoint to help you with an employment tribunal claim. In this case, the employee had appointed someone to help her who basically misled the employment tribunal, didn't contact them, and um, in essence, what happened was the employee's case was struck out. So therefore, they had no recourse to bring that claim any further. Now, this case is interesting because it's a court of appeal case, and it's quite an exceptional one in that the court of appeal allowed the claims to be reinstated on the basis that it was the representative's fault entirely and the employee had no idea about what was happening when the representative failed to contact the employment tribunal and comply with their orders. But it is rather exceptional because ordinarily what the tribunals will say is if your representative has messed things up for you then your recourse should be against that representative. Now, if you appoint someone who isn't qualified or doesn't have any um, insurance or any um, professional body behind them, then your means of getting any recourse against them is very limited. You'd have to sue them for breach of contract and hope that you could get some money back that way. So again, it's really important that you have the right advisor, that you understand what their qualifications are and that they have insurance in place if they do mess things up for you.